So friends, today, as many of you have requested that I do some problem solving with you. So I hear today, you solve a problem from exercise of Boyd and Van der Waals book, Convex Optimization. It's uh, exercise number, exercise 3.19 in Boyd and Van der Waals. and Van der Waals here. The famous book Convex Optimization. It tells you to prove, it gives you a function and tells you to prove that it is convex. Sorry. So the problem is as follows. So here is a problem. So here is a trigonometric polynomial for any given omega lying between 0 and 2 pi x is a vector in Rn and this is expressed as x1 plus x2 cos omega plus x3 cos 2 omega plus x plus dot dot xn you can now understand it will be the general form would be cos n minus 1. Now it writes a function f depending on x. So here what I am doing is that you are computing the integral where you are integrating variable is omega. We are doing log or log means to the base e. d omega. I am writing like a double what it starts on. We have to prove that, show that f is convex on C, which is a set of all x in Rn such that T of x omega is strictly bigger than 0. Whenever omega is lying between 0 and 2 pi, sorry, omega is strictly lying between 0 and 2 pi. I think putting an equality there would not be much of an issue. Now, uh, this set can be proved to be a convex set because first you have to understand for every fixed omega omega the mapping x to tx omega is a linear mapping on our end this is the key factor ok so now if I in look at this expression f of lambda y plus 1 minus lambda x where this y is from c and x is from c so I leave it for you to prove that c is actually a convex set and this will come out because of the fact that uh, this is a linear function now what would happen is that uh, this can be written as integral 0 to 2 pi minus log of t of lambda y plus 1 minus lambda x sorry lambda x omega d now this now take take a fixed omega because you know that t is a linear function you can write this as lambda ty plus 1 minus lambda tx sorry I'm making a mistake I think just to get my this happens quite often with me is so so because it's a linear function for a fixed omega so for every fixed omega what you can write is t of 
lambda t y omega plus 1 minus lambda where lambda is a quantity line between 0 and 1 because this is what we are supposed to do this lambda is a quantity line between 0 and 1 because we are going to prove conversely I am sure anybody has been coming to my channel would now know the definition of a convex function pretty well so this is what will happen for every fixed omega this will happen and now by the convexity of minus log because log is concave minus log is convex I will have minus lambda log tx omega sorry ty omega minus 1 minus lambda or plus 1 minus lambda minus log t or just like minus log t x omega this is true for any any omega this is true for all omega between 0 and 2 pi so because it is true for every omega I can integrate it out with respect to d omega so if I integrate out what will happen if I integrate this with respect to d omega this will be nothing but your will be this expression so so what what would happen so uh, this is nothing but this expression so this f of lambda y plus 1 minus lambda x so is less than equal to lambda times 0 to 2 pi please I can understand that this part is nothing but this part because of the linearity of t for every omega so this will now become log t of y omega d omega plus 1 minus lambda 0 to 2 pi minus log of t of x omega d omega and this what is this this simply means this is this is exactly equal to f of y by my definition and this is exactly equal to this part is exactly equal to f of x so f of lambda y plus 1 minus lambda x is less than equal to lambda f y plus 1 minus lambda x and as the French men would write voila the thing is done so this is an example where you are combining linearity of the function and convexity of the function it uses the fact that if you have a linear function then if you compose a convex function you get a convex function and you use these facts of integral so if your function f is less than a function g then integral over f would be less than integral over g so you, you also use facts for integration so several things come together to give this result hope you found this interesting and have a nice evening thank you